Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ITL. <laughs> yeah, we're back to the same place we were last week. Not as windy. Chilly, though. It's actually in the 40s, mid-40s here right now. Well, well, well. Let me think. Let's try not to get, get too... Mm, too political or anything on this video. But, but, same. Ah, Pennsylvania, Governor Wolf. Yeah. He, uh, a few days ago, he ordered a uh, stay at home. Your stay at home. Yeah, stay at home order. Yeah. For, I mean, to be quarantined, for the quarantine, for everybody, clean across the state. Yeah. Okay. First place, this is not a martial, this is, we're not, not under martial law. So the governor does not have any right to order that for the whole state. It infringes on the, on the Constitution severely. So, uh, setting it up for yourself to have a bad time in the future? Possibly, possibly. I don't take orders very well. Not from people. It doesn't have any authority, and I don't see the governor has an authority. Not over the situation. I mean, but, saying that, just because you can do, doesn't mean you should do. But, that's how it goes. Um... That's been my major thing for this week, but I hope you all find this video. I hope you're all well. I hope you haven't come down with anything. I personally went out, had to do some shopping yesterday to the store and back. Well, I did stop at McDonald's drive through for a month. <laughs> Got the fish. Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, that's basically my traveling. If I go on a boat, I'm like, oh, on a boat. If I go on a bike... <laughs> that was a boring slip. If I go on a bike, I, uh, I mean, you can by yourself. You're, there's nobody around. I mean, it's not like you're going to catch anything doing that. And, I mean, it, it is what it is. Everybody has their own personal thoughts on that. Like, it don't matter to me too much. Either way. Oh, they're testing out a new siren. But, but. Saying that, I am actually working. Actually, I've got the thing, most of the things together for work. But I'll be working on building a uh, dual band ham radio antenna for 2 meters and 7 centimeters. It, yeah, it's simple. But I am basically using mostly everything that I have around my garage, my garage and my house. And, uh, I will be making a video on it. I'm not showing total all the measurements, because, I mean, they're whatever you really want to do to a degree. Uh, except for the race, but it's, it is, and as far as figuring out for the race, it's like, hmm, there's you, you can do go through the mathematics, or you can estimate it with a with a Android app that you can get, and I will be talking about that more if anybody's interested. And and it's like estimate it, put it on an antenna analyzer, and then tune it in from there. I always cut my antennas long. That way, I mean, it's, you can, it's a lot easier to subtract than it is to add. When you're talking metals and everything. Um, but yeah, I do not own a analyzer at this current, current moment. The person that I do have the, you know, I do, does have the analyzer. I really wouldn't, doesn't appreciate me putting them, wouldn't appreciate me when we put them on video. So that part's going to have to be not done. But I will get it tuned in properly. And yes, whenever you go with a dual band single antenna, oh, you get some losses. 
what's the, I mean, there's always a give and take. You'll get some losses in some games, but it depends on if it's worth it to you. And this actually is an idea that I've gotten from other YouTube videos. Yeah, they, they made portable antennas with it by doing this. And it was out of PVC. Well, I'll be making mine out of wood. And they used, uh, oh, stainless steel, uh, basically stainless steel wire. And I'll be using basically cut hangers to get it first tuned in to make sure it works. So after it works, I will be going ahead and replacing that with stainless steel. But I figure you can have it up for a while. And you say, well, wood, uh, it'll, it's not going to last as long. No, if you just leave wood the way it is, no, it won't. But I have a way to deal with that also. And this is something I'll be mounting on the back end of my house, which there goes the give and take part of it. Because whenever you set it up the way I'll be showing it, it'll be somewhat directional, not totally omnidirectional. And it makes sense. But whenever I hang out anything on my house with Desert Pam Radio, it turns it into directional because my house has aluminum siding all around it, which throws the air thing off. That's why I'm mounting things outside the house and not inside the house, say inside the, the attic or anything. I have aluminum siding up to the peak <laughs> and it's the heavy aluminum siding it's not the, new, the more recent cheap stuff it's the heavy aluminum siding so it's like yeah so I'll, I figured I'll go ahead and I'm gonna just go ahead and start into that and record bits and pieces and explain how I'm doing it and put it into one video now my question would be and if whoever wants to it, it, would like to chime in on this if you would like to see like little snips of it, kind of me showing it, little pieces of it in the ITL, I can do that also. I can put a little pieces in as I go along, and it'll spread out for weeks that way. But it, it it'll be little, little pieces. And after the ITL, I get through it with the ITL, then I will release the vid whole video. That way, if somebody wants to see it clean through, that way if they forget something, yeah, get some idea. And this is video will be just to give people ideas what they can do. Not basically a total instructional video. No, that's not me. I'm not a teacher, but I can give people, try to give people ideas. Ah, well, this is Muzzle Mike. Hoping you have a great week. Hey, stay healthy, stay safe. Signing out.